What's really good? We back with the boxing clinic and more. Getting the ball rolling nicely with this boxing talk all day. You know, happy Friday to everybody. But, um, you know, Billy Joe Saunders lays down the gauntlet. You know, shout out to Fight Hype over there in the UK. Uh, UK Fight Hype Edition. I'm going to uh, link the article in the description and ask Danny Jacobs to, you know, give him $5 million. He'll come over and fight him. Come over and fight him. You know, he also mentioned London as well. So I don't know. I don't understand. But he won $5 million to come over to North America to fight. And uh, am I mad at him? Absolutely not. I told you guys what it was, you know, sizing that fight up uh, uh, earlier this week. You know, I told y'all what it was. This guy's not about to F up that Golovkin money. Period. It ain't going to happen. You know, if that's what he's, you know, he's about to make versus Golovkin. That's what he wants. And you can't be mad at him. You know, how many people told me that, uh, oh, Jeff Horn is smart for asking for $5 million. You know what I'm saying? Versus Terrence Crawford. You know, you pose the, you know, the guy who shoots for the top of the building. Um, might hit the tree. The guy that shoots for the top of the tree, most likely just going to hit the ground. So, <laughs> so you know, you got to shoot high. That's what I'm saying. And uh, I'm mad at him for not taking the Jacobs fight. It don't it may make sense, you know, for him right now that he's in line to have a final piece of the puzzle of Golovkin, um, beats Canelo, the Undisputed. They're going to pay him a lot of money. He's willing to go to Kazakhstan as well. He can get a lot of money, man. Um, so, Danny Jacobs, I mean, he could be mad. He can call him Punani. I can call him... You know, Billy Joe, a pussy, and all you want is business. And, um, you know, if you had a, a five, six million dollar payday versus the winner, Golovkin and Canelo, or something like that, um, down the line, would you risk it by, risk it by fighting Danny Jacobs? Absolutely not. <laughs> it's business. So he's probably going to fight some domestic guy in the UK. Um, I would love to see him come back to America and possibly fight, you know, uh, you know, some mid level American somewhere on a PBC card, maybe Frank Warren. Can hit up Al because they do share fighters like Carl Frampton, I believe, and James DeGale. You know, get him on one of those cards or something like that. Get him on the Keith card versus, uh, you know, God knows who. You know, maybe, you know, I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying to think of a middleweight contender right now at the top of the head because Hugo Centennial Jr. is going to be fighting somebody, fighting somebody else. Maybe, you know, you know, bring him back versus Peter Quillen. You know, he ain't fought. He had a, a, a dust, you know. Uh, a tune-up fight not too long ago. I mean, uh, you know, you know, maybe you can get Gabriel Rosado over there. Um, you know, maybe you can get somebody of that elk. You know, um, he already beat Willie Monroe. Um, but somebody in the top fifteen, I think it'll be a good look for him. Um, obviously Antoine Douglas would have get a good fight, but he lost to Gary O'Sullivan. Um, so you know, something like that. <clears throat> I think he should just continue to fight North America. Excuse me, because. <clears throat> You know, they get a feel for it, you know, and, and continue to build his brand. And you see how it, it did when he fought in Canada. You know, it really popped him off popularity-wise in North America, and it did wonders for him. And a lot of people is, is saying his name, and his name is ringing bells now. And he getting that notoriety. He feeling good, too. <clears throat> you know, the reporter asked him, what you going to do until, you know, your next fight? Prostitute for Christmas. That's what he asked. Sex and prostitutes until my next fight. Or at least two, I catch AIDS. I mean, this dude is hilarious. <laughs> Hope he's all here wrapping it up because he's an excellent boxing talent. But for Danny Jacobs, I mean, move on. I mean, I don't know who you're going to fight. I mean, if you really want a challenge, I mean, I understand that's a world title fight that, that won't be presented to you unless you come up with $5 million um, and Eddie Hearn. But Billy Joe Saunders, before I get into Danny Jacobs, did say that, you know, uh, historically, Frank Warren and Eddie Hearn just don't work together. He said if Frank Warren called and told me that I got to, I, you fight Danny Jacobs. I got good money. I got a good deal for you. He said, I fight Danny Jacobs. But he said, historically, you know, they like oil and water. They don't mix. Eddie Hearn and Frank Warren. He says, they, they never do. He said, how many English promoters do you see have American fighters? He said, you never see that, you know. He said, his last fight, Danny Jacobs barely sold 1,000 to 2,000 seats. He said, he ain't no draw in America. They ain't going to do nothing for me right now. So why should I gift him with a title opportunity when he ain't shit in his own country? You feel me? So, you know, it is what it is. Um... I'm not mad at Billy Joe Saunders. Dave, Dave, Danny Jacobs, you know, people asking Billy Joe Saunders to take the cha challenge versus Danny Jacobs. What about Danny Jacobs taking the challenge and fighting number one mandatory contender to the Golovkin's WC belt, WBC belt in Jamal Charlo? So if you, before you turn around and call Billy Joe Saunders, Billy Ho Saunders, whatever we was calling him before, turn around and ask yourself, will Danny Jacobs, you know, fight Jamal Charlo and take that risk? Before you ask Billy Joe Saunders to take a risk when he got a big money fight ahead of him with Golovkin or the Canelo winner, you got to ask yourself that. Now, if you say, "Oh, Danny Jacobs don't need Jamal Charlo," well, look back at look back behind you, and Billy Joe Saunders don't need Danny Jacobs right now. So you can't be 
wishy-washy. You can't be all over the board. You got to be consistent in what you're saying and consistent in what you're doing. You feel me? And um, just straight up. It is what it is. You know, Billy Joe Saunders is a straight shooter. He told you, you know, if they give me five million, I have no issue with coming over there, putting paws on Danny Jacobs or trying my best to win. Um, but I'm away for this Golovkin fight. <laughs> and um, Danny Jacobs will have to go elsewhere. We gone.